Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Gilbert Arenas undermined Steph Curry by asserting Clay Thompson would have averaged 30 points per game playing next to Allen Iverson. After claiming that Stephen Curry is not a generational talent, Gilbert Arenas is now undermining the Golden State Warriors guard yet again. According to the former athlete, the defense against Philadelphia 76ers legend Allen Iverson was more intense than the defense Curry faces. On the Gills Arena show, Gilbert Arenas claimed that Allen Iverson alone demanded defense from all five opponents on the floor. To that, co-host Brandon Jennings responded by saying that Stephen Curry is also similar. Arenas completely disagreed with that as he further claimed that Clay Thompson would have averaged more besides AI as he would have left wide open. If Clay was with Allen Iverson, Clay would average 30. Because we did not give two sh asterisk 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 about Clay at that point. Because the dude himself, Iverson, was so dominant. Gilbert Arenas said as Jennings believes that Curry was better than Iverson, the former player supported his claim by reflecting on the defense Curry attracts at half court. Arenas tore down his claims by stating that Curry was not as fast as Iverson and, hence, did not need multiple defenders on him. Arenas also mentioned his experience of playing with Iverson. Arenas, on multiple occasions, has targeted Curry while supporting others. His opinion about the defense on Curry caused controversy, just like most of his other claims. Fans came at Arenas as they have seen Curry get double teamed for years. As Arenas stated, Curry is not a generational talent, the claim turned many heads, including some NBA analysts. Fans were not the only ones furious at arenas, as ESPN Stephen A. Smith also weighed in on the topic. As Smith believes that Curry is the best shooter God has ever created, it was unsurprising that the analyst was upset. During a recent episode of Smith's show, the analyst pointed out the uniqueness of Curry to prove Arena's statement wrong. Smith started by showing respect to arenas, but further did not hesitate to call out the former Wizards star. I love Gilbert Arenas, love his podcast, Brother Knows Basketball. I think he lost his D asterisk asterisk and mind on this one. When have you seen a shooter like Steph Curry in our lifetime? I've been on earth for 56 years. Gilbert Arenas is in his 30s, I think. Talk to shooters everywhere, when have you seen somebody like Curry? Stephen A. Smith said Curry has some of the most unbeatable records under his belt with unreal scoring abilities. Smith listed all of the star's achievements and stressed that his talent cannot be mimicked. Which is what Arenas firmly stood up against. It would be interesting to see if Arenas finds a way to respond to Smith to defend his claims. 5 Reasons 2004 Pistons Would Beat 2017 Warriors a war of words between 2004 Detroit Pistons star Rashid Wallace and current Golden State Warriors star Draymond Green has escalated in recent days, with each side making the case that their respective classic team would win in a seven-game series. Green clapped back at Wallace recently saying that the Warriors would have smacked y'all. Pistons owner Tom Gores issued a statement after the team's mutual split with former general manager Troy Weaver. Up for debate is whether the vintage 2004 NBA champion Detroit Pistons would beat one of Green's best Warriors title teams in a seven-game series. The 2017-2018 Golden State Warriors with NBA Top 75 all-time player Kevin Durant are widely regarded as the best of Green's four championship teams. Here are five reasons why Wallace's 2003-2004 Pistons would defeat them in an NBA Finals series. The 2017 Golden State Warriors were an underrated defensive team, but the 2004 Pistons were a different animal entirely. Ben Wallace is more than just a four-time defensive player of the year, he was a walking turnover for the other team. The Hall of Fame forward-slash-center Wallace is the only player in NBA history to record more blocks than personal fouls and more steals than turnovers in his career. The Pistons could match up with the Warriors at every position, just like Rashid Wallace said. 
Chauncey Billups would have over 20 pounds of muscle on Stephen Curry and had the speed to keep pace. Clay Thompson vs. Richard Hamilton would be an exciting and relatively even matchup. Tayshawn Prince vs. Durant would be the biggest wild card matchup of the series. Prince and Hamilton held Kobe Bryant to four games of 37% shooting or less in 2004, and Prince has a 7 feet 2 inches wingspan to Durant's 7 feet 5 inches. Rashid Wallace's assertion that Green was too small would also apply to 2017 to 2018 Warriors center David West, his likely matchup on defense. Benchwise, the Pistons boasted the dynamic duo of Lindsey Hunter and Mike James, the most underrated defensive duo of all time. Steve Kerr is a pioneer, but Larry Brown is widely regarded as one of the most adaptive and successful basketball coaches of all time, at any level. Brown led the Kansas Jayhawks to an NBA title in college, and he would have led the Pistons to a second NBA title if he hadn't been busy flirting with other jobs during the 2005-2006 season that ended in a seven-game loss to the San Antonio Spurs. Brown's defense first, inside-outside strategy, would trump Kerr's. The Warriors lived off of their strength in numbers moniker, but the Pistons were more united as a team. All five Detroit starters played off of each other in countless ways on both sides of the ball, from creating steals and turnovers on defense to setting picks to backdoor cuts to post-ups, drives and dishes. Proposed NBA trade has Lakers send LeBron to Warriors for former number one pick. The Los Angeles Lakers are in wait-and-see mode as LeBron James considers his future. The superstar still has one season remaining on a two-year, $99 million contract, but can opt out this offseason to become a free agent. Bleacher Report's Greg Swartz put together a list of dream trade targets for every team. The analyst mentioned James as an ideal target for the Golden State Warriors. James would have to opt into his current deal in order for a trade to be possible. The trade pitch has the Lakers landing Jonathan Kaminga, former number one pick Andrew Wiggins, Gary Payton II and Kevin Looney, or Chris Paul's expiring deal. Golden State secures King James in exchange for this trade package. The Golden State Warriors obviously have interest in trading for LeBron James, as the franchise called the Los Angeles Lakers about a potential deal before the 2024 deadline, Swartz detailed in a June 3, 2024 story titled, Dream Trade Targets for Every NBA Team. The Lakers ultimately refused, but owner Jeannie Buss did reach out to James' agent Rich Paul to gauge his interest, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Ramona Shelburne. After a disappointing first-round exit, would James be more open to joining Stephen Curry and Draymond Green in Golden State? James would need to pick up his $51.4 million player option to execute a trade, Swartz added. Seeing James in a Warriors uniform may feel wrong, but combining him and Curry before both of their historic careers end would make for beautiful basketball. Earlier this season, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Ramona Shelburne broke the internet by revealing that the Warriors inquired about a potential blockbuster trade for James. Ultimately, the Lakers and James turned down Golden State's overtures. Over a clandestine 24-hour window prior to the trade deadline Thursday that included owner-to-owner -owner conversations, the Golden State Warriors made an unsuccessful bid to convince the Los Angeles Lakers and LeBron James to consider a trade to pair him with longtime rival Stephen Curry, sources told ESPN, Wojnarowski, and Shelburne wrote in a February 14 article titled, Sources, Warriors made bid for LeBron James at trade deadline. The Warriors were eager to present a package deal to L.A., but neither the Lakers nor James were willing to explore a potential blockbuster. The chances of this trade happening are minimal as James could simply opt out of his deal and push for a sign-in trade with the Warriors. James has been complimentary of Steph Curry in recent years, but it remains to be seen whether the NBA legend is willing to leave Los Angeles. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of LeBron James? Leave your opinion in the comments.